All right, some notation and terminology. The plural of vertex is vertice. The plural of edge is edges. That's my joke for today. I'm, it's pretty lame, I admit, I admit. Okay, vertices in different settings are called nodes. They're called points. They're called locations. They're called stations. They're called lots of things. Often, graphs are used to model physical phenomena, electrical circuits, communication networks, etc. And so all of the kinds of words that might come up in an application are used quite frequently. Edges might be called arcs, lines, links, pipes, connectors, bridges, other things. Uh, usually, people who talk about nodes talk about arcs. People who talk about points talk about lines. Vertices go with edges. But after that, there's no natural connection. You know, somebody might be talking about stations and links. They might be talking about locations and pipes. Uh, maybe yes, maybe not. Mathematicians are selectively lazy, never just unconsciously lazy. So if you want to drop some braces in a comma, and if, and if you can get away with it without loss of confusion, you do that. So rather than write the two element set x comma y, if you can tell the difference between x and y, you can just write the edge as just xy. Now, writing the edge xy and writing the edge yx is the same. The two element set. But be careful with this notation when your vertices are positive, are labeled by positive integers. Because, for example, if I write, and I'm talking about the edge 2786, what do I mean? Is it the edge from 27 that's linking it to 86, or is it from 2 to 786, et cetera? So you've got to be a little careful with, with integers. All right, some more notation and terminology. When x, y is an edge in a graph, we say x and y are adjacent. And I've already used that word implicitly on an earlier slide. Alternatively, we say they are neighbors in the graph. Adjacent is another meaning of neighbors. Given a graph, the set of all neighbors of a given vertex is denoted by n sub g of x. And when you know in the entire discussion what the graph G is, then you drop that subscript and just write N of X. The size of that, the cardinality of that, is called the degree of X in the graph and is denoted D sub G of X. And you say degree of G, just degree of G. When the graph is fixed, again, you can drop the subscript and just talk about the degree of x. Here's a graph, and I tell you that the vertex set is 1 through 12. Are vertices 8 and 11 neighbors, yes or no? You're supposed to say no. They're pretty close. <laughs> but this isn't about closeness. It's zeros or ones. They're, they're either neighbors or they're not neighbors. And, and the answer is no, they're not neighbors. What is the degree of the vertex 8? You're supposed to say it is 4. Everybody agree? 